All right, welcome back to Araton Empire, still your G-Town boy, Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of The Hajist. And you know how we do right here? We dissect, we intercept, and we deliberate on trending issues, trending topics, controversies, and we give you factual analysis on politics, entertainment, sports, updates, and things happening around you. And today, Gist is going to be interesting, innovating, because we have so many issues to analyze. Guys, before we dodge in, please subscribe, click the notification button, and don't forget like, comment, share with your friends so that you can get my updates anytime, any day I upload. Okay, so let's talk about this popular Nigerian entertainer and also a crossdresser. His name is called Denrere. I don't know if I got the the whole name right. I don't know if I got the pronunciation right. He's called Denrele. If now when I day UK now, this pronunciation day simple. Denrere. Denrere. Okay, so according to Denrereo, this is what he said. He said that he's one of the organizers of Big Brother Niger. And ever since that show started, people has been trooping in, in his DM, sending him all kinds of things, making all kinds of imaginable offers to him. There are no small thing, no. Say women, they send them nudes. Nude pictures, erotic pictures, so many things. Some they even meet and say, they tell them, say, I got confidence in you. Tell them, self. Say, look at me. I am for you. Do me whatever you want to do. Anything that pleases you, do to me. But I want to be part of Big Brother Niger. He said that so many people, they troop in in his DM, they disturb him. In fact, some people have even promised him money. Some promised him 10 million, 30 million, 50 million. We don't be like, I just carry the talk. Oh, I carry the report for you. Okay. Popular Nigeria entertainer and crossdresser, then really has recounted his experience with applicants of Big Brother. Niger reality TV show appearing in an interview on lunchtime with Vanguard published on Saturday the media personality admitted to being instrumental in the show's proceedings according to him people who wants to be on the show reach out to him excuse me to help them get selected and become contestants he said I get a lot of notes from people who wants to go for BB Niger? I get all kinds of monetary offers. I have gotten 100 million offer, 50 million offer, 30 million, and tell people to go and do something reasonable with their money. And he further came out to Brago. This is what he said. So let, let's just say if you don't have a Denrele in your life that can help you rediscover yourself or help you get to the next level and give you direction to help you navigate your way through life then what are you looking for go and find go and find he also said i am the industry center of gravity this is what now the brago let's just say i know people in the right places when they ask you Tell them to come and meet me. This is what he has been saying. And they also asked him, when did all these things start? This thing started in 2011, during Big Brother Africa, when he helped Karen to, to fill a form about the Big Brother Africa, and Karen got qualified. And Karin, during the Big Brother section, 
that that guy always mentioned his name that oh is the only that helped me is the only that helped me to be on this platform ever since then people know the gram rest again every day people will be on his dm asking him baba link me up baba link me up now link me up the people has been asking him to link them up and he was also bragging about it but let's be sincere if people they they come to you for help that doesn't mean that you have to be bragging about it you don't need to brag about it people are sending you notes offering you all kinds of money is it even necessary is it necessary that's between you and them why coming out to say all those things so which you the one make we feel now you, so you the one make we feel that you you are the honor no, of the honors now they feel like god they feel like god i bet we're gonna ask them okay so let's talk about alibaba the nigerian famous comedian and also an entrepreneur <laughs> You know, say you don't take away Nollywood actress that they talk, say, Oh, I hustle on my own, I do things on my own. I don't know, say Alibaba, they, they look them with one eye, they eye them. Alibaba, they don't hear it like, like his ear don't choke, his ear don't choke. Alibaba don't come out, tear clothes. Say, you know, agree again, say, all oh, this, our actress. Where they form motivational speaker for online, they go just come online. They form motivational speaker that they made their money on their own. Say, me then go nyasta. That he knows how many actress, Nollywood actress, are really hustling genuinely. Where they take their influence, they make small small business. He knows them. But they know they deceive the young ones. That how can you act one, one or two movie? Hey, you don't go buy a house of 45 million naira. Come out online. They claim smuggle with big God. Alibaba said, these girls, this Nollywood actress, what they do, is to run after politicians, big, big men. That it be sugar that is what they give them all these things. Say for for Nollywood, all those ladies with their Nollywood, they no reach 10. If there are 100, 10, they no even reach 10. You know, where they get their money genuinely. Say they 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 know how the crew crew joints, they know how the ups and downs. They say the me no be like I just carry the talk. Oh yeah, roll it. You that just joined the industry, the people that have been in the industry since did not buy. So you, you, the, the people who who are struggling. And, okay, let, let me let me go here. I, I said I, I, I may be tempted to mention names, but I will not. We went to we went to uh, Dubai one time. And while we were waiting, I see this uh, actress comes in. And then I see the protocol officer of a particular person. I greeted them, they greeted me and everything. And then the person came and said, here's your key. And then gave her the key, gave her that one. Then she went upstairs. And then maybe like two days later, I see her posting, lounging in Dubai. Like, Can you buy your tickets? The ones that do business and make money, we know them. Come here and be putting girls on high jump. Girls are not thinking that. So when you see some of them run to uh, uh, Oba to go and get their own share, they are not saying, uh, uh, what are they, what, what, where, where are they? Even if you, if, if you, if you act in every movie and they pay you five million, five million, five million, how many movies do you do in a year? See, let me just say this. Uh, we know the ones that use their mileage. I mean, like, use their publicity, their, their popularity, and do business. But that is different. Those ones do other businesses. Those ones are selling clothes, selling uh, anything. They travel and buy anything they want to buy, come here and sell. 
they have uh, businesses that they run on the side, they sell oil, they sell all those things. They sell hair. If you know how much hair is, you know that some of them can, can afford that. But the ones that you know, you can't even act in an English movie. It has to be uh, kilo sokwe, kilo sokwe, uh, that kind of uh, movie. You now come and tell me that you, you raise 125 million to buy one house in, in, uh, in Lekki Phase 1. And then when they are talking about other people, you now be, you now be putting him out. Oh, what is wrong with this man? He can't keep his, uh, this thing inside his pants. He's jumping up and down and jumping up. You, 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 how you... You have heard it. On another hand, and from the horse's mouth, any of like saying I may talk. You have heard it from the horse's mouth. And see, let's let's be serious. I will go straight to the point. Make all this our Nollywood address. You see, now them now who they form all this motivational speaker. Oh, you can make it. I started from small. I got my money through movie. Men are not to deceive our young girls. If you know that you didn't make your money genuinely, know they come out for online, they form motivational speaker. They talk waiting you know, no, waiting you know, do. If you know, say you they get your money from all this, your Kurukere worker, know they come out for online, they form innocent, they motivate the our young ladies, they put pressure. They make them believe that, oh, all things are possible. When you people know where those things are coming from, you know good. And it's high time because I know, me, 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 myself, I know. I, I know how they used to do. I know them. When you see them, you know them. See, you people should stop all these things. Ale Baba, you don't talk and finish. And that is the honest truth. That is the honest truth, guys. May we? So let's talk about Mazen Nam De Kano and IPOP and also Nigeria government. You know, for since last year, Nam De, um, Mazen Nam De Kano was arrested. And ever since then, he has been detained. According to the report, Nigeria government laid some allegations stating that there are some charges leveled against him. So they took him to court and ever since then, he has been under detention. And now, why I'm bringing this issue? Now, a report came out stating that the UN Council the UN Council Working Group has reportedly asked the Nigeria government to release Mazen Nam De Kano unconditionally and compensate him for the abuse and torture he has, he has and continue to suffer in their hands. So the UN, they have come out and they are issuing an ultimatum asking the Nigeria government to release Mazen Nam De Kano. And if they release him, let them compensate him also for treating him, for torturing him, for abusing him. That they need to compensate him. And you know, Nigeria government labeled some allegations against him. They labeled some charges against him. And guys, let's be sincere. Me, I don't see what thing that guy do. I don't see what thing that guy do. Just that Nigeria is a lawless country. Anybody can oppress anybody. Guys, this one, eh, it took me. Tell me what you think on the comment section. May we? Okay, let's talk about this mommy GEO for Nigeria. To be honest, you see Nigeria, religion for Nigeria is, is too stressful. 
these are our GEOs and father in the Lord. Eh? The way they distress us now for Nigeria. The way, the way, the way religion now they go for Nigeria. In the next four years or five years, religion now go they shocktalize you. Religion now, eh? if you talk about religion, it could be like fire. Very controversial now. This one, my GEO, you get what you talk, eh? Where as I listen to them, it depends my mind. That lady, she shocktalized me. This woman, according to this video, this woman talks, say, Rastafarians made them know, say, they are citizens of hellfire. In fact, made them know go the border about going to heaven. That they are already citizens. They give them full citizens. Poor. Said that they go hellfire. This woman stated that if you be Rastafarian and your dreadlock small, no say they will give you like one single room for hair fire. If your dreadlock con long small needs, no say they will they will give you like self apartment for hair fire. If your dreadlock come long, neat, not that they go fee give you like a state, but the a state no go they get light. But if your dreadlock come long, con de tea, no say they go make you elder for hair fire. They go make you elder for hair fire and they, they go give you a state. They go even make you governor. And they go give you some concubines for hair fire. They go use the step down every night. They go they step down. They go give you women for hair fire. We go use the papa for hair fire. Guys, eh, this woman she talks to eh, Rastafarians. They shouldn't bother about heaven. They will never, ever, 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 ever. You know, bless, I just they carry the talk. Oh, yeah, roll it. All of you that are putting dreadlocks. You say, uh, it's my year and it's my natural year, you dreadlocks. No heaven for you. So, there's a demon in hell that I saw with dreadlocks, but it was a snake dancing on its head. The Lord Jesus said, this is the spirit following all those, those uh, Rastafarians. That's why you see all of them behave the same demonic demon. That is the demon. Ha Eradi 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 Oh, well, this one shocktalized me. I don't know, eh? Nigeria, I don't know. Nigeria and Netflix. If you want to make yourself happy, just go on the internet. You go laugh tire. Nigeria, I don't This is our mommy CEO. Nigeria, eh? If you day hundred, people will, we no normal plenty. Ah. Nothing where I no go here for this our Christianity. You see, this our Christianity. You don't tire me. Every every church they bring their own doctrine. They they bring their own statement and and that's it. If if you think saying that this one be the worst one, go here the one where they left. Mommy G. You see what you they teach your members. So now, all those, all those people will get Rasta. If they see them now, they are now citizens of Hellfire. There is no two ways about it. 
Now, let's be serious. You see what our pastors are teaching us? You see, see the kind of doctrine we have doctorized ourselves into. Now, our religious leaders, now, now, them, they even blind us now. Look at what you are teaching your members. So if they see a Rastafarian, they have already recognized that person as agent of hell, citizen of hellfire. This is what you are teaching them. I don't know whether they even read your Bible. If you are reading your Bible at all, if you really know Bible, you will know so, so many men of God, so many prophets in the Bible. They have dreadlocks. They have dreadlocks. John the Baptist. Countless of them. Even Samson. Samson, where they see, he get dreadlocks. So when you are talking, be mindful of what you are teaching your members. I don't know. Like, I don't know where they get all this dear method, like methodology or sectology or, or mindetology. Go on, Yasta. All right, so let's talk about P2B. Yesterday was one million match for P2B in Nasarawa State. And people came out in their numbers to support, just to show that solidarity that they really support P2B. They want P2B to win this presidential seat. Because they know that things will change, things will turn around. But no bless, I just the guy they talk. Let me read the report for you. According to the chairman of the party, Alexander Emmanuel said the one million man match was to sensitize the people of the state or on the need to elect credible leaders in the 2023 as well as sending signal to other political parties who claimed Labour Party does not have a structure. He further expressed confidence that the party will win the 2023 presidential election and all elective positions in Nasarawa State, adding that the residents were tired of bad governance and we are ready to vote for the party's candidates in the coming election. I accepted the request of the support group, business class, the youth, and members from other parties to embark on this sensitization rally because I want the people to understand the need why they should elect credible leaders into office in 2023. And it is also to prove a point to political parties who always say that our supporters are only online. <laughs> Guys, according to him, he stated that the suffering and the hardship inflated, inflated as well as the increasing cases of insecurity on Nigerians has called for drastic change. So honestly, people came out. People came out in their numbers. I watched it. People came out in their numbers and they were supporting P2B shouting like you know bringing out their solidarity for him that they support P2B and they vote for P2B well guys we are still on the election it's still ongoing and like I always say vote for the right person I know they campaign for anybody vote for the right person know the person that your heart yearns for vote for the right person but no go say your vote and no do mistake because your mistake today will be your worst time for the next four years or eight years. That is the truth. May we. Okay, so let's talk about Buari and Nigerians. Honestly, Buari has been lambasted, roasted online. A report came out 
And after reading that report, I saw that so many Nigerians were not having it with Ogabubu. Let me read the report for you. According to Sahala reports, how Buhari government spent 1.2 billion naira on vehicles for Niger Republic officials. Armed rising poverty in Nigeria. Budget deficit hitting 30.58 trillion since Buhari became the president. And guys, that report, I can't read all the whole report, but this is just the main points that I want us to talk about. Not only Buhari, now nah, she say his house will be on fire, you go enter flight, go another person's house, go the quench fire. Me, I'm not going to talk anything for this one, no, because I'm tired of talking. Nigerians, they were not having this. Let me read some of the comments. This person said, Charles said, such a failure in office, disaster to democracy in Nigeria. So cruelless and lagadicious. Guy, calm down now. People can speak English. The worst president Nigeria ever produced. This person said, what is his name? Ibrahim Yahaya said, APC are just empty vessels. Failure is the major identity. Now, this person also said, shameless and reckless government, anti-people's party. Okay, this person also said, uh, that is his home country. Guys, the, the comments we are many, but this is the main comments that I want to point out. Honestly, I know no waiting I go talk. And I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going this one I'm not going to say anything. If you have anything to say, drop it on the comments. Honestly. But let's be serious. You get some reports where you go, you see here. Yeah? Go make you bore. You'll be asking yourself, what is really happening in this our government? Is it that they are confused or they don't even know the country where they, they govern? I don't know. You see, government, they are sitting on a big time bomb. And when they go blow it, eh? now they are gnash. That's the only thing I'm going to say. May we? All right, so let's talk about rude boy, Paul Okoye. Pete Okoye's brother. And I know PSQ now. Uh, this guy came out. There's something that he posted on his Instagram page that I decided to bring it to you guys so that we can analyze, deliberate, and drop your comments also. Let me, now let me read it. A man just wants to make money and have peace. He doesn't care whether you love him or not. Before going to bed, he thinks, calculates, etc. Wake up in the morning, strategize, on how to achieve at the end of the day, no time. According to what he's saying, he's saying that men doesn't care if a woman loves him or not. That all they are thinking about is how to make money and peace of mind. That men no get time for all those things. Oh, do you love me? Oh, do you care about me? They don't get time for all those things. They think about how to make money and also peace of mind. First of all, we give them peace of mind. That they don't think about love. Well, guys, tell me what you think on the comment section. Tell me if it's 100% right or if it's wrong. Counter this with facts. Let's deliberate. Let's analyze. Tell me what you think on the comment section. May we? So that will be all in today's episode. And you know how we do right here. Stay tuned, stay glued because I'm coming back with another mind busting, interesting analysis. Guys, another episode is coming and it's gonna be very controversial, hot, spicy. Just stay tuned. I know how we do it. Subscribe, subscribe, click the notification button, 
and also don't forget like comment share with your friends so that you can be getting my updates anytime any day i upload thanks for watching god bless <music>